But Theo's thirst for gold gets the better of him. And his intensive search takes him much further than he realizes. Theo Rosmulder is on a long-awaited gold prospecting holiday in a remote part of Western Australia with his wife, Pauline. Hi, love. Can I get you anything? No, thanks, love. Theo and his two friends, Doug and Brian, focus their search on a remote region peppered with old mines from the 1900s gold rush. After two weeks gold hunting, they feel they know the area so well. We really need this today? They leave their handheld GPS in the back of their vehicle. Back here, uh, 5.30 then. Yeah. Be lucky, boys. To be honest, if I looked back, I was getting pretty cocky. I'd been out so many times by myself and um, thought I knew the area like the back of my hand. The men will guide themselves back to their vehicle using the sun, as the outback has few features to navigate by. We're only going to go out for an hour or so at the most. We decided we weren't going to walk around any great distance. Gold fever. Lovely. They talk about gold fever, yeah, that's that's basically it. If you don't find it, it's the, the thought of actually finding one. And when you do, you want to find another one. With one shiny nugget in his pocket, his prospects look good. But Theo's thirst for gold gets the better of him. And his intensive search takes him much further than he realises. You get that engrossed in what you're doing, you don't check to see how far you've got. When you turn around, you think to yourself, my God, have I come this far? While Brian and Doug return safely, Theo's not only late, but he's lost his only way of finding their vehicle. Heavy clouds have rolled in, presenting him with a serious problem. I looked up at the sky and there was no sun to speak of because of the cloud cover, and the cloud cover was exceptionally thick. So I realised that, you know, this is getting serious. Theo had planned to retrace his steps to the vehicle using the sun. Without it, or his GPS, he has absolutely no way of navigating. I looked around and I thought, I've been here before. You know, this area looks so familiar. But I realised that it didn't matter where I was. It all looked familiar. Theo was in one of the world's harshest environments. A vast and featureless desert, devoid of food and water. Without a compass and with light fading, Theo is totally lost. How in the hell am I going to get out of this? It was getting just on dusk. I knew by then that I'd, I'd be spending a night out in the open if I didn't find my way home. Then, in the last minutes of daylight, he stumbles on a fence, a lifeline in the middle of nowhere. We were told that if you find a track or a fence line, if you follow it, it'll take you back to the Aboriginal community. I've got to try and work out from here which way to go. Theo's decision may mean the difference between life and death. One way will lead him to the Aboriginal settlement and safety, but the other will take him deeper into hostile wilderness, miles from help, food or water. Lost and alone, Theo has to make a stark choice, left or right.
With night falling fast, Theo decides to take a chance. When you're looking at a cold night, um, if there's an opportunity to get back uh, to camp, uh, you tend to grab it. I take tablets for uh, the heart operation that I had, and, um, and I wanted to get back to make sure I, I took those. You had your pills? Had them earlier. Theo's medication is essential to maintain a steady heartbeat. But he left his pills in camp. Missing doses can send his heart out of control and put his life in immediate danger. Back at camp, Pauline is increasingly worried. He can nearly talk himself into palpitations if he doesn't have his tablets. The heart wasn't doing uh, that great. I could hear it just thumping in me in my head, and the more I walked, the worse it got. Theo has bet his life on the direction he's chosen to lead him to safety. He's still ignoring the rule of the outback to stay where he is once lost. I took off, followed the track, um, did that for probably an hour. But his gamble is about to fail. ran out, thought to myself, well, that, that'd be right. The only track I picked to follow, and it's the only one that ran out. Theo has walked miles in the wrong direction. Instead of the safety of the Aboriginal community, he's ended up deep in the desert. That's about how good my luck was going. Yeah, Pauline, uh, uh, we're just packing up uh, and... Um... Theo's not back yet. You what? By this stage, it's dark. Really wants calm. We found our way out there to where they were. Theo's wife raises the alarm, but a full search can't begin until daylight. Without his medication, that could be too late. 